Governments from around the world are meeting in Montreal to agree on a series of plans to halt biodiversity loss and restore nature. And technical capacity is seen as one of the means of implementing these plans. So how can technology help conserve biodiversity? We talked to Guo Songtao, a professor from China's Northwest University, whose team employed AI and other technologies to develop a system that can recognize the golden snapnose monkey in Qinning Mountain, Shanxi province. Thank you so much for joining us. Professor Guo, what are the difficulties your team encountered in research and development? Thank you for your attention and questions. As a new uh, ET a disciplinary uh, technique, uh, monkey face recognition has encountered the two main problems. One is how to choose the right uh, AI uh, algorithm. The second is how to collect enough training data for uh, the algorithm and the computer models. Uh, thanks to our 20 year study of wild populations, after long term tracking and observation, we have been able to recognize more than 100 wild golden stubbed monkeys. Under such conditions, we have collected hundreds of thousands of photos of each individual from different angles over several months. And after selection, we have obtained a data set of more than 100,000 valid images. Luckily, through the cooperation of computer, computer uh, scientists, the two problems were successfully solved. And we are glad to hear that the recognition accuracy has reached over 95%. So how would the technology help preserve golden snapnose monkeys? And can this technology be applied to other primates or even other species? And what do you think is the next step in facial recognition technology for creatures? Uh, golden snapnose monkeys live in the social group in the wild and the accuracy individual identifications is a difficult problem. This technique can overcome the problem and provide important technical support to the planning management, behavior research, and conservation, both in the wild and the captive groups. The facial technique can be used to for face recognition of all primates, as well as for individual identification of all other uh, ungulates and carnivores and mammals, such as deer, antelopes, tiger, levers. It's been more than 20 years since you started researching Qinling golden snub-nosed monkeys. So what changes have you seen from its population to its living environment? And what efforts has China made to protect it? We have been monitoring the wild population of golden snub-nosed monkeys in the Qin Mountain for more than 20 years. During this period, we have observed a significant increase in the population of golden snubless monkeys. We believe that this is uh, inseparable from China nature forest protection project over the past 20 years. And uh, it has some publication, public awareness of wildlife uh, conservation. In particular, uh, the construction of the nature parks in the recent years has provided a greater area of high quality protection for wild golden snubbed monkeys and other uh, companion animals. And these in first have greatly contribu contributed to recover of the biodiversity in these areas.